Catalan opening, closed, traditional variation, 9.e4. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. It was an incredible middle game by both players. The players battled pretty evenly in the end game. Opening with the queen's pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. The move e6 creates a line for the dark squared bishop, sets up a rapid castle, and prepares to push a pawn to d5 and recover the piece if it is taken. The Catalan opening is a slower, more positional opening where white prepares to fianchetto the light squared bishop on g2, where it will help control the center. The pawn on e4 is under attack as d5 occupies space in the middle. Fianchetto move bg2 places the bishop on the long diagonal. b7 develops the bishop, supports the knight on f6 and prepares castling. nf3 controls the e5 square, advances the knight toward the center, and helps the d4 pawn. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Nbd7 develops the knight toward the center without blocking the pawn on c6. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. This exchange is fair. Backs off. By positioning the bishop on a potent diagonal, this fianchettos the bishop. It is the final book action. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is quite good. This reveals an assault and puts a pawn in danger. It is ideal. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This turns the pawn into a passed pawn, which means no other pawn may oppose it as it advances. It is ideal. This is the way to win a pawn. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. By assaulting the opposing queen, this activates a piece while also buying time. It is ideal. This divides up parts by launching multiple attacks at once. That's good. This reveals an assault that poses a threat to a bishop. It is ideal. This defends a bishop that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is ideal. This strikes a rival knight. It is ideal. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Backs off. It is ideal. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This misses a more effective approach to advance a rook from its starting square. It is incorrect. This permits the opponent to reveal an attack on a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. This exposes a bishop attack. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Recaptures. By elevating it to the seventh rank, this poses a threat of activating a rook. It is ideal. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This strikes the rival queen. It is ideal. The queen is therefore moved to safety. That's good. Very precise. It is best. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. Black is equal at this point in the endgame. That is good. A powerful play. 
it is quite good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. That's a decent move. That's good. The queen is therefore moved to safety. That's good. This prevents a queen on the other side from checking. It is quite good. The queen is therefore moved to safety. That's good. By moving it from the back rank, this activates the king in the end game. That's good. This makes winning a pawn a possibility. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. A pawn is therefore left defenseless. It is incorrect. That pawn was available for free. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. That's good. This might indicate that a rook was attacked. It is ideal. This prevents the adversary from making an attack on a rook known. It is quite good. A wise decision. It is quite good. It's alright. That's good. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. A powerful play. It is quite good. This defends the pawn that was attacked. That's good. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. Very precise. It is best. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. This poses a checkmate threat. It is ideal. This is the only move that works. This stops the opponent from being able to play checkmate. It is a great move. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This misses a chance to imply that you might win a queen. It is incorrect. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This permits the opponent to use a rook to counter a passed pawn. It is a mistake. There was only one good move in that position. This ignores an opportunity to use a rook to counter a passed pawn. It is a miss. This threatens to win material. This allows the opponent to use a rook to counter a passed pawn. It is an inaccuracy. A queen is lost as a result. It is a mistake. This was a turn of the game move that put white in the lead. It is a wise decision. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. This is the only good move. It is best. By doing this, a chance to advance a defeated piece is missed. This gives the adversary the opportunity to promote a passed pawn. It is incorrect. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. This prevents the adversary from moving a passed pawn toward promotion. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This activates a rook by getting it to the seventh rank and also restricts the opponent's king. This threatens to play checkmate. It is good. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. It was an incredible middle game by both players. The players battled pretty evenly in the end game.